Hi, I'm Bridget Debernitz aboard the 60-foot Sport Fisher from Viking, the Bad Company Edition. Let's check out this boat and take a look at all the form, function, and luxury that Viking has to offer. Hi, Bridget Debernitz from Duncan McIntosh Company here with Anthony Shea, CEO of Crow's Nest Yachts and owner of Team Bad Company, here to ask him some questions about the brand new Viking 60 Sport Fisher, the Bad Company edition. So Anthony, uh, Lifetime, Hi. how are you doing? Good. Excellent. Lifetime as a sport fisher. Um, tell us how your passion for sport fishing led to the design and implementation of the Bad Company edition Viking. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's always uh, try something do, new until you figure things out. And uh, this boat is uh, through many years of not only myself, but um, we have a great team that uh, really have uh, grown up in fishing and elevated their game year after year. And we always try to adapt your, uh, your machines and your uh, equipment to, you know, how you want it to function. So it's just a little tweaking here and there, and this is really the latest version of, of, uh, uh, of design from experience. Excellent. Now tell us how some of these new design elements on the Viking 60 will make this boat a leader in West Coast sport fishers. Well, there's, uh, you know, there's a little bit of history that we're standing on right now because this is really the first custom boat that is stock. So uh, what we've done and what I've done typically in the past is I buy a boat, the best that's available for me to purchase, and as soon as I buy it, I have to take it into the boat yard and cut it all up because uh, Pacific Ocean fisheries is dramatically different from anywhere else in the world. We have very unique specifics that we need here. And uh, just through no other choice, you know, we have to buy a platform, which is the boat, and then modify it. This boat today is the first of uh, its kind where now it's uh, with a joint uh, venture with Viking Yachts. We're able to get their engineers involved along with our team and design it from scratch. So not only is it beneficial for us as a competitive fishing team, now we don't have the customization and all the extra steps, uh, but it's, a, it's, it's really history for uh, West Coast boaters because now they can come out and buy a product like this without having the worry of, of going into customization and it voids your warranty when you, when you start tinkering with something that is not designed to be. So, so we are you know, sort of standing on a little bit of a, of a change in sort of history. We fish, uh, we fish a lot from the bow, a lot of bow access. So what we've done, one thing is we've put the, the cleats on flush mounted. So when you're not using them, set them back down. And then when you walk, you walk up to the bow, you're not kicking anything. Also, we've added this door. The anchor slides in there nicely when you're not using the anchor, or when the anchor's down, you close the door. Again, access to the bow without falling down. Viking comes with this anchor locker. There's two fittings down there. That is, that is plumbed for the bow bait tank. Put your bait tank here, hook up your hoses, run your hoses through here, into here and hook them up. If you don't want the bait tank on, take the bait tank off, take the hoses off, Put this back in place, and you don't have uh, your tank anymore. Some manufacturers have a lot of problems with, with the black mask because they get so hot. What Viking has done is this is actually a metallic, and some of the metallic material actually reflects sunlight, so this nearly doesn't get as hot as straight as straight black wood. Flush cleats, we're not using them. They're out of the way. You can walk back with that camera, walk all the way out here, not look into the deck and not kick anything. You want to try it? This is a loose marine chair. And what it's got, it's got an offset base on it. So when you swing this chair to the corner, you get, the chair actually ends up getting closer to the corner because the boat's so wide. And then when we're, we're, this is when we're fishing basically Blue Marlin in Mexico, Panama, Costa Rica. When we're fishing up here, this chair comes off, we have another rocket launcher, we call this. This rocket launcher sets right on top of the pedestal, which will hold six rods. So when you're just fishing stand-up, you don't need the chair, you can take it off.